Hello, I'm Dr. Kelly Martin Shu, author of Live, Love, and Thrive with Herpes, a holistic guide for women. I'm also the founder of PinkTent.com. It's a virtual community where women are supporting women with herpes. Today, I want to talk about the difference between blood testing and saliva testing. And if you're getting outbreaks at the same time every month, it might be an indication that your hormones are out of balance. Now, one of the first things you can do is uh, look at natural remedies to help rebalance the hormones. And if that doesn't work, then you really want to start looking deeper into your hormone levels. Now, for many, many years, doctors and healthcare professionals has, have used blood tests to determine whether or not your hormones are out of balance. And the truth is, is that sometimes those results can come back normal when in fact there is a problem. And the reason being is that the blood is only able to test the hormones that are floating through the blood, but it doesn't tell us how much or how many of those hormones the body is able to use at a tissue level or able to absorb. Now the importance of saliva testing is that it tells us exactly what are the hormones that the body is actually utilizing at the level of the tissues. So it's extremely accurate and then we're able to tell which hormones might be out of balance and then be able to take a next step forward for treatment. So if you're thinking that your hormones are out of balance and you're getting hormones at the same time every month or if you've noticed an overall increase in your herpes outbreaks, uh, this could be another indication that your hormones have changed and this does often happen during pregnancy. It happens uh, when women are entering into menopause or they're perimenopausal, meaning they're getting ready to enter in, into menopause. And we're finding more and more women are actually entering into menopause a lot earlier than their mothers or their grandmothers or their aunties uh, for many unknown reasons, uh, although I believe it's, it's the impact of uh, the toxins in our environment and the foods that we eat. But nonetheless, you might be perimenopausal and you might be in your early 30s. Uh, so hormone imbalance can definitely trigger herpes outbreaks. And one of the key indications is outbreaks at the same time every month. So I hope you'll join us in our free online forum at pinktent.com. I'm signing off Dr. Kelly Martin Shu at pinktent.com. Thank you.